All right, we got the San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, G.I. Joe and the Transformers crossover Shockwave His Tank with Destro and Construction Bat, as well as Soundwave, which I did not know it had a Soundwave, but actually there's a Soundwave and three cassettes in this thing. So, um, awesome, awesome box. Um, probably one of the best things about this packaging is the fact that it's the same size as the one from last year. So, I was kind of worried about that. I like all of my you know, packaging to be fairly uniform, you know, for dis display and packing purposes. Um, so there, issue 5 and 6 of the G.I. Joe Transformers uh, crossover toys. Now, I don't know, are they, are they going with the issue numbers um, based on previous exclusives? I know these are the first crossover ones, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know what the first four are. So, if you know what the first four are, definitely uh, send me an email or post a comment or something. Um, but, yeah, these guys are pretty pretty awesome. Um, can't get the whole box in the frame. Let me get the Starscream out of the way. Um, just like last year, it has, like, the retro um, box art. And it shows the uh, three um, figures, which, you know, loosely I call him a figure. Um, so you got Destro, which I'm not sure what molds they used on him. He could be uh, an all-do mold. You got a briefcase full of money. Now you got Soundwave with three Minicon deployers, which I'm pretty sure that's a new mold. I haven't seen that anywhere else. But then you got the Bat, which is a reuse of the um, 25th anniversary Bat mold with the cartoon gun, as well as the hand cart and three cubes um, from the uh, Mass Device DVD sets, whereas these were different uh, blocks. So the 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 uh, Energon. I'm, I'm not sure it's a different mold or if it reused uh, one of the actual molds. I'm pretty sure it's one of the, the one of the molds reused for these. Um, got the back, kind of showing a uh, a schematic almost of the um, shockwave tank there. All right, Gert, we got everything out of the box and assembled. I'm going handheld here, so it might be a little shaky. Hopefully, it stays in focus. But there's the the hiss. Um, shockwave right there brilliant um, metallic purple then you got the bat Destro Soundwave mini cassettes a uh, briefcase that has um, one large bulk piece of money that has two different currencies US currency and it looks like uh, I want to say almost like Singapore um, dollars in there um, sing uh, not really sure and it has like six US dollar bill bundles and well, I'll show you real quick it has six of these ah, and now it's gone gone forever lost in the carpet of time okay you got the little itty bitty focus bundle of money you just set that down focusing on that if it will anyway teeny tiny bundles of money you got the U.S. and the other one, and the uh, a lot of dust, and uh, yeah. So anyway, so you got twelve bundles of money plus the uh, a piece that goes on the bottom. Let me just get a quick overview. Um, you got the file cards for the two GI Joes. You got the um, not necessarily a tech spec, but essentially a file card for Shockwave. So you're missing one for Soundwave, which I think they gave you Megatron's with the uh, Starscream, and he was only in gun form. So that's kind of disappointing. But, all right. So let's go through these guys one by one real quick. First off, we'll look at the accessories. Um, got the, uh, the Energon cart, which is based on the, uh, I think it was the mass device pieces. And they took the, uh, the yellow element and did that three times in white and stuck it inside of a pink cube. Each cube can actually come apart. So you're going to have empty ones, I guess. Um, so that's kind of neat. So you got the cart. Cool. And then you got the um, bat. Which he is a exact copy, mold-wise, of the um, 25th anniversary bat. Of course, the only difference being the actual colors used. Slide them back a bit. Um, another thing that they gave um, they gave him a uh, cartoon um, uh, rifle 
right there in black and then um, yeah pretty cool he does have his other hand it's in his backpack for storage uh, it's got the uh, hideous green and purple which I wasn't too big of a fan of of the color scheme but man I just love the bat bat uh, mold and I really wanted this guy just because it's such a crazy paint scheme I guess um, so that's pretty cool um, so he's got everything you'd expect a bat to have, all the interchangeable hands and all that. Put him aside with his buddy. Now with the Destro, I don't have uh, the molds that they used with this guy. It looks like the body armor is off the J.I. Joe Resolute Trooper. It looks like it's the, um, not the 25th, but probably the Pursuit of Cobra um, head. The body, I'm not really sure. I believe the knees. And possibly, uh, I think the arm, I think the arms and legs might even be from one of the um, paratrooper guys. And then I think the knee pads might be new. I have to double check on that. But he does have the gun that came with um, Techno Viper, and he's got this other small pistol that I, I don't think I've seen before. Um, so it's kind of interesting. It's got a really cool Decepticon logo on his chest. It's a dark purple and uh, a darker purple and black with silver um, weathering on it nice chrome head there so that's a pretty cool sculpt look at that real quick for just a second alright and then you got Soundwave pretty cool you know it looks just like the G1 toy nothing opens up um, unfortunately now you do have the cassettes that do fit inside but you're not gonna you're not gonna want to jam these things all the way down because I don't know like how easy it is to get out. Well, there you go. It's pretty much all the way in there. So it kind of just plugs in. It doesn't really like slide in cassette, you know, like they would have done. And then the cool thing they did with it is they had a post on it so you can actually put it on Destro so you can walk around with sound on his back. That's really cool. That's one of the cool surprises in this set I wasn't expecting. Um, so you got three cassettes, all the same mold. I'm not sure which. Um, Transformers are supposed to be, but I'm sure somebody will comment and tell me. Alright, so I'm just get, get a good look of sound wave all the way around here. Paint, paint is de decent on here. It does have his little um Subcon logo molded in. Alright. Got Destro's thing of money. Like I said, it comes with all these bundles of uh cash there. The you know the characters can hold in their hand and stuff. And then the actual briefcase itself has a Decepticon logo on it. And then you can pop out the money. So you can have a totally empty briefcase. And it has a couple little pegs there just for alignment. And it kind of helps keep it from falling out and stuff. And it has like a texture. I don't know if you can kind of tell. Um, use the old trick here. Um, so it has like a wavy texture to it. So it's not just a flat block with printing on it. They actually went through a little bit of trouble uh, to make this. I'm not going to go ahead and close it because it'll totally turn that white and I want to leave it flat just to have this guy stored. And then of course you got the two file cards. Leave it up there so you can read through it real quick. It has Shockwave mentioned in there a couple of times. So that's pretty cool. Kind of gives you a backstory on the, on the uh, Shockwave His Tank. You've got the Cobra Android tro Trooper, the uh, they call it the Construction Bat. Um, it's actually an alien upgrade. Um, you can read the whole thing there. And then you got the Shockwave file card. All right, Military Commander and Strategist. And he's actually one of my favorite Transformers. Love, love the artwork there. That's it's awesome. And then, of course, it has an instruction sheet. Um, and now, to brass tacks. This is the main attraction out of this set, by far. Um, the awesome pearlescent, I guess, would be better um, to call it um, purple paint. Nice, crisp Decepticon logos on both both tracks. On there, on the other side. 
great paint job in there. They got this uh, pearlescent black over the unpainted um, tracks. Um, you got some nice gray, light gray molded pieces there. Another Decepticon logo on the front, and they're really crisp. Um, this one's not perfect due to the fact that it does go down to those dips, but it's pretty good. Um, it does have a, a transparent purple um, cockpit uh, there. Um, would have liked to have seen it this painted, that pearlescent, but uh, I'm sure they did that for cost saving measures. And they use the uh, translucent purple again on the uh, Gatling guns. And also on the uh, on the missile. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, it's identical to the um, to the retaliation hiss. Um, with the only difference being the paint job, of course. And you get this newly sculpted um, shockwave cannon. But other than that, it's the same same exact mold. Um, now they did make it to where let's angle this up a little bit. They did make it to where you can still uh, pop that off. You can still um, use the cannon. This just snaps in there. It's got a little stub. Goes inside the cannon. But then you can actually load it with the uh, translucent missile and um, fire that thing halfway across the room. Um, yeah, it does have a an articulated body. It does tilt up, articulated cannon on there. These can click up and down. They're also interchangeable with the other ports that are on there. Which for me, I think I kind of dig that a little bit better. Either either just totally without the um, side Gatling guns. Maybe even underslung. Let's try that underslung. Let's see what that looks like. See, you get four of those on there. Totally got you an anti-aircraft shockwave. Um. Oh, yeah. There we go. I like that a lot better. Cool. Um. Destro can stand in the turret. Just like um, the figures could, could uh, get in the... Um, Regular his. So yeah, this thing's freaking awesome. You got basically his head replicated there um, on the front piece, which I was kind of wondering if this wasn't a different sculpt than the um, retaliation hiss, but nope, they're exactly the same. All the way through. That's a good reuse of the mold. I was super thrilled with the Starscream from last year and super thrilled with this. Um, at a price of 70 bucks, you get an exclusive vehicle with an awesome paint job. You get two actual action figures plus a buttload of accessories. However, the only complaint I'm going to have is there wasn't a file card for Shockwave or for Soundwave rather. They could give him, give, give him a little, you know, a little card or something. And I really would have liked to have seen a a um, pistol version of Shockwave for Destro to hold. So I was kind of disappointed in that, but. Are they considered? Definitely 10 out of 10. Um, and just to compare them with the G1 self there, you can definitely see all the. Uh, see how they did the logos are fairly similar. Um, of course, his cannon is pretty much spot on. They didn't do a clear purple inside here, the same way they did in that one. Would have been cool if they could have had a feature uh, like that, electronic feature in there, but uh, oh well. That's kind of cool. So, definitely, without a doubt, for me anyway, 10 out of 10 Energon Cubes for the San Diego Comic Con exclusive G.I. Joe Transformers crossover Shockwave Hiss Tank with Destro Bat Soundwave uh, and all those other accessories.